Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a story time video for you guys. One like no other because in this story time I literally almost died. Thought my life was gonna be over, pretty much. Okay, so let's just rewind a bit. So one day my friend actually ended up dying in a car accident. Um, I miss him so much. But yeah, we ended up growing up together, like so we were really close and everything. And it was a really, really sad point in my life. I was like 14 years old and yeah, I ended up kind of resorting to smoking weed at that time. So yeah, I ended up kind of resorting to smoking. I used to smoke with people in my building um, just to like kind of cope. Um, I thought I got high, not too sure, but I'm pretty sure that I didn't know how to smoke properly because like so much smoke ended up coming out of my mouth. I'm like... <sighs> kind of ended up smoking more occasionally and then eventually I did learn how to smoke because somebody ended up teaching me. Um, so let's forward a little bit. This was the same year, but um, I guess a little bit after. I think it was in grade nine though. So what happened was we were all, I think it was lunchtime. So yeah, it was lunchtime and everybody's like, yeah, we're gonna roll it up, da da da. So me and some of my friends were like, okay, yeah, let's go, let's go smoke. So our school, our high school was like here and then there was like a building there. And then we decided to go behind the building and smoke some weed. <laughs> So they rolled it up or whatever and then we were all smoking. I thought I was a big time smoker then. I was like, yo, I'm not gonna get high. Da da da. Um I decided to take the roach. And anybody who's a smoker, they know the roach is like that shit that hits you. And this was a big fat head, okay? This was a big one. Yeah. I ended up smoking that like straight to the head, I ended up coughing and all of that. I'm like <coughs> <coughs> And I'm like, yeah, I'm good, whatever. So we were all smoking, everything was good, everything was gravy. Lunch bell rings, we were kinda late. So we decided to walk back. So I seen the principal come out of the back door and I'm like, did he just book us? My heart literally sank, I'm like, oh my gosh. And then it was all over from there. I started tripping out, oh my gosh. <sighs> I can just picture <laughs> I can just picture it right now. I started tripping out. But he was going like this. And I'm thinking, is he calling us? Is he talking to us? So I'm there looking around like, is he is he talking to us? Did we get caught? Are we gonna get in trouble? Are we gonna get suspended? And I never got suspended in my lifetime, so I was pretty scared. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I couldn't even feel my body, my body was like moving by itself. It was so crazy. Everybody was like cracking up. They're like, what's wrong with this girl? What's wrong with this girl? I'm like, seriously guys, like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on right now. Did we just get caught? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I could not stop talking. Like I was, I felt like I was talking like so fast, like a hundred miles per hour. My heart started beating out of my freaking chest. Like, I thought I was gonna die, okay? So I had like some of my close friends with me there and then some of them weren't close at all. And then some of them were just laughing at me, pointing like, ha 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 ha, ha 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 And I was so paranoid, so they were making it even worse. I'm just like, shut up, shut up, shut up. So we ended up not even going into class because I was over it. Like I couldn't function. I would have been a psychopath in class and they would have probably called 911 and sent me to the hospital. I did not know what was going on with me. I'm like, I don't even feel like I'm in my body right now. How come this is not happening to any of you guys? I feel like I'm dying, am I dying? Please, please. So I was there walking and I'm like, I don't feel like myself right now. I feel like I'm looking at myself from up in the sky. I, I was honestly so scared. I started asking the guy who rolled it. I'm like, did you lace this? And he's like, no, why would I do that? Who do you think I am? I didn't lace anything. Don't say that, stop telling lies. I just felt like everybody was against me at that point. I'm like, yes you did, yes you did. Like, she's never smoking with us again. I don't know, I didn't put it in my head that like I was the only one acting like this. Everybody around me was perfectly fine. So obviously it wasn't laced, but I really thought it was laced. <laughs> I because I'm like I smoked before this, I was totally fine. Why is this happening now? Why? So I ended up knocking out on the concrete floor right in front of my school. Right in front of my school, okay? Like I blacked out. I just like whoop. and then they had to run go inside and get water and throw it all over my face and then I ended up waking up and like what's going on okay I'm like just bring me home just bring me home so there was only one girl that I like I really trusted there um 
her name was Tavon. You know Bonds is that girl? Yeah, her. So I'm like, hey Tavon, you have to bring me home. Please, please just bring me home. Um, and then after, because everybody else was laughing at me. I'm like, I can't trust you guys. I'm just like, leave me alone, leave me alone. Literally. <laughs> she ended up bringing me on the bus and I was sitting on her lap because, I don't know, there was no seat or so whatever and I need to sit. And then I felt like everybody was looking at me like, Everybody was looking at me, but I, I was standing there, or I was sitting there like this. Like my whole, my body was moving, and I feel like people thought I was crazy. I felt like I was in one of those movies, you know when you, when they take crack or heroin or something like that, and then it does like, this thing where like, everything seems so far away, and like, the lights are like flickering, and it's like, <laughs> Like, that's literally how I felt. We went and we laid down in the bed when I got home, and she's like, okay, just go to sleep, go to sleep, drink some water, go to sleep. Um, so I was trying to go to sleep, but every time I like put the cover over me, my body, I did not have function over my body. My body would just get up. My body, every time it would just get up, and my body was moving like this. Like, literally felt like I was ticking all over, and I'm like, I don't understand what's going on. I'm like, please stay out. I'm like, I'm like, tell my mom I love her. Tell my sister I love her. I'm like, just write them a note for me or let me call them. I, I thought I was gonna die, seriously. I'm just like, please, like, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Just tell my mom I love her so much. Time started passing on, and then um, by that time it was the end of like real school. Um, so Munchie ended up coming and <laughs> She cooked me some eggs and everything, um, and fed me a little bit, and like I felt a little bit better. I still felt my body like moving weird, but I felt a lot better. And then it finally died down, and I was like, "Thank you, thank you." I felt so good. I'm like, "Oh my gosh, you guys don't even know how I felt." Like, I literally that was not even me. And I laugh about it to this day because I do think it was kind of funny. Um, but at the end of the day, we all live and we all learn. And I know that weed is not for me. So the moral of the story is don't do drugs. And drugs are not meant for everybody. I personally don't recommend drugs, but I will take a little sip here and there. There's nothing wrong with that. But for the most part, yeah. It was such a life-changing experience for me that I don't want to go through it again and I wouldn't want any of you guys to go through it again so I'm just trying to give you guys a heads up that it could happen to you so you know school is coming around the corner don't fall into that peer pressure um, be your own person so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one bye yeah. so yeah that is a time that I thought the weed was laced that I was almost going to die my near life death experience as well as the time I tripped out <laughs> you made me blush Street platinum My nigga's blush You made me blush, you made me blush